Hello again, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this tiny little fella here. This is the Kuyu Quantum SS flashlight. Stainless steel, fully waterproof, maximum of 130 lumens. And believe it or not, this tiny little thing will apparently give you half an hour's use at 130 lumens. And it doesn't look very bright on a lovely bright day like this. But in the dark, that is incredibly light for such a tiny little thing. So let's run through what comes in the pack. Now instead of me just reciting what's written on the packaging, I might as well just quickly show you the packaging. You can read it all, pick out any information you want off there, and then we'll get into how to charge it up and how it performs. Okay, here's the contents. We've got very comprehensive instructions here in very good English. And on the other side, we've got it in Chinese. They're very, very clear, which is good. We've got a necklace sort of thing here, so you can actually wear this around your neck. A little keyring attachment and two spare seals. Now, turning this thing on is just as easy as swiveling this end. One. That's the low light setting, which is 8 lumens. Continue turning, and it goes to the high setting, which is 130 lumens. Twist it back, it goes to low. Twist it back again, it goes off. Now this low light setting should last for 6 hours, which is incredible. Because the battery in here is tiny. The high setting should last for 30 minutes, which is half an hour. And this is only 41 millimeters long by 12.8 millimeters diameter. So approximately inch and a half by half inch. Tiny. Now hopefully you'll be able to see that that is charging. A little red light there. This is from a Power Monkey Extreme um, charger, solar charger. You can charge it from your storage packs. Our, or your PC, an adapter in the house with a plug. It's very versatile, very easy to charge. And as I was filming that, the red light has just turned green. So now the little battery is fully charged. And actually, I don't think I showed you the little battery that is in here. Now this is replaceable. And that's it there. Tiny little rechargeable battery. 100 milliamp hours. So the fact that that can be replaced is excellent because I just assumed that that would be built in. Having a replaceable one really extends the life of this thing. A little rubber seal here and a little rubber seal in the other end and you do get two free seals as well as replacements. What uses could you have for a very very small waterproof powerful flashlight? Well it's so small and light and it comes with a very good attachment here you could easily attach it to your keys. If you ever need it, a light, it's there. EDC, everyday carry. Quite a lot of people just make up little, back in the day we used to call them survival kits or get home kits or something, but now they're called EDC kits. This would be absolutely perfect for even the smallest one. Even a little belt mounted one in a, in a tobacco tin or something. And on the lowest setting, six hours, that's going to give you time to walk as far as you want to go before it gets light. Or even just as a backup to your main flashlight in like a, a proper kit bag, a proper survival kit, proper expedition kit, you probably have a bigger flashlight. This little fella could take the place of that if the big flashlight goes down. No problem at all. Very, very good. So really it's time for a verdict on that little flashlight. It probably isn't the sort of thing that I would buy under normal circumstances. This one that I used in this review was actually sent to me by Gearbest. You can find it on their website. The link is in the video description and I think in the middle or the end of March 2016 they'll be having special deals on that particular item because I 
as far as I know it's the two year anniversary at that particular time. Very glad to get it because it has solved a problem for me which is how to fix a flashlight to my air pistol. I've been looking for something like that and the lightness and brightness of that thing coupled with the fact that it's easily attachable by the velcro really has solved the problem for me. I've got flashlights coming out of my ears so I didn't need another one. This one is extremely small, very good, but if I was going to go out and buy a flashlight, well I wouldn't go out and buy a flashlight because I've got, as I say, I've got loads of them, I don't need another one. For an EDC flashlight, I think this one will take some beating. And the fact that it can be recharged from solar panels, from your storage batteries, it's, it's just got it's got a lot of options open to it. Very well made and uh, yeah, it's, a good, it's just a very good item. Every time I see a flashlight with such power, with such a small size, it just makes me think back years ago when I was younger. I mean, we would have things that would have massive batteries, it would weigh about five kilos and they wouldn't give out half the light of this tiny little thing. The way that battery technology and LED technologies come on since I was young is absolutely incredible and a lot of young viewers won't appreciate that but oh man it's just unbelievable what's available now and this is a prime example of what is available in small packages you know as, as they say good things come in small packages thanks very much for watching I'll catch you next time right this is what we're gonna need to complete this mission we've got the velcro here, the furry bit and the hooky bit and they've got sticky backs this was all of 24 pence from a local craft shop we've got the air pistol here this is going to be our fixing point along here, it's nice and flat and we've got the mini flashlight which hopefully should fit under there just going to make sure these parts are free from any grease or sweat or anything like that so we'll get a good adhesion and I think we're going to go with the furry bit on here because this has to go into a holster and I don't want it scraping with that that's much quieter now obviously we've got a fixing bolt here this will be able to be just peeled off if necessary that probably will never need to be looked at though unless we need to replace the spring or repair the air pistol at a later date That seems to have stuck well, so now we're going to put the hooky bit around here. Basically we're just going to wrap it around there and hope that it sticks. Now I haven't got that on perfectly straight, but I think it's going to do the job. Yeah, I think we could do with some around here as well, just to make it more secure. You've seen how I've put that on, I'll put one on there as well, and then we'll try it again. Yeah, that's much better. Much more solid. Great, that's going to do the job. Easily removable. Turn it on, that's on high. Clag that under there and we're good to go. Awesome. Well, I'm pleased with that. Good.